if you saw my video, my last video, you saw that I bought one of these. And today I'm going to attempt to make butter. Let's see how it goes and if it even happens. Or if my husband's gonna end up doing it. Sorry, babe. <laughs> so come on. than a butter stick but I'm proud of it will I do it again yes but I'll prepare myself better and have a cleaner kitchen <laughs> and now we're going to try the butter so it did come out good but it's missing salt so next time I make it I will add salt to it and I need to buy the little what are they called paddles so I can actually shape it because that was all shaped with a cutting board <laughs> hi so today is the next day from where I left off yesterday in the video and I am going through my little recipe book because I am going to make um, banana bread so see if I can find it because I don't remember where in the notebook it is because I just put everything in I find that I like so yeah look okay, here I found it I don't remember where I got this recipe from it was most likely from Pinterest but I don't remember from who because I've followed this recipe for a few years now. And my kids love it, I love it, blah, 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 blah. So yes, this is all I needed. Oh yeah, no. I don't know why I keep confusing it with a cookie recipe that I need to let the butter sit at room temperature for a while. But right now I don't. So I'm going to use the buttermilk I got from making the butter yesterday, which I'm excited for that because, well, I made butter yesterday. It's the first time ever and actually, well, you saw my little churner instead of using the KitchenAid. My husband keeps telling me that he wants me to try with the KitchenAid to see if it's quicker. But I like one day I'll try it, but not right now. <laughs> and the butter did come out really good, even though I didn't add any like salt or any seasonings or spices or anything to it so yes it came out really good definitely would recommend so yes like I said I'm going to make probably the double amount whoa we got Wendy I am going to make probably double the amount of um, banana bread like we purposely let the bananas go this like this it's kind of gross actually that way we can make banana bread. So I'm gonna need bananas, eggs, buttermilk, oil, vanilla extract, brown sugar, flour, baking soda, and a pinch of salt. I always add some chocolate to it because, well, one of my kids does not like bananas, but she will eat it with chocolate, so that works. So I am gonna start preparing everything I need out for that, and then I'll start making it.
So the muffins are done, finally. It took me 25 minutes to bake them, but I think they overbaked a little bit because, well, I kind of got distracted to be honest. <laughs> but yes, that's what happens. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.